In this session, we'll talk about uh, invoice creation. In account payables model, we have different types of invoices like standard invoice, credit memo, debit memo, withholding tax, interest invoices like that. Those invoices will be creating directly in the account payables model. But when it comes for the PO invoice, nothing but purchase order invoice. As for the purchase order, we are going to raise the invoice here. We ordered some goods or service to the supplier. Supplier has provided those goods or service. Then he has sent the invoice also that we are going to process in account payable model. Okay. So make sure that the PO is already approved and received the goods. Where do we find uh, that information? Once we log in, go to procurement, purchase orders. search for the purchase order here. A purchase order is this. It may be open status, means approved, or it may be closed for receiving status. Any of this status, it's fine. So if the PO is approved, we can raise the invoice, not approved. Okay, so where do we raise this particular invoice? If at all we want to work with account payables module, we required uh, AP roles and data access, right? For the current uh, user, account payables manager, account payables supervisor, accounts payable uh, specialist. These are the three roles uh, which we will be using, mm -hmm. right? Here, uh, the, the roles and data access is already provided for the current user. Let's go to Navigator. Where do we check the roles has been applied for the current user or not? We will get a work environment here that's called payables and we can find invoices processing, payments processing and complete payables dashboard. This is the environment where we can find the invoices. Let's choose the invoice. Make sure that you your PO is already approved. Go back to invoice, create an invoice here. We call this as a PO invoice. We are creating an invoice for a purchase order here. Now the invoice space will be opened here. First field we can find here, identifying the purchase order. Identifying the purchase order. Here we have to enter the PO number. The moment when we enter the purchase order number, system will automatically retrieve the invoices information, like a business unit, supplier number, supplier site. Based on the business unit, of course, legal entity automatically populated. This all information will get it here. And we can enter the invoice number here and uh, whatever the amount, which is order amount we have that we can go for it. Here, let's say we are going to specify it's so $320, for example. And then we can go with the matching. Check this checkbox for matching the purchase order. This is our PO number, line number, shipment number. Total six items. Okay. And uh, check this quantity, how much we have received. Total $300. It's fine. So this is shipped to location, made by date, and item number. Means item name here. Press OK. So if at all we want to create multiple invoices for the same purchase order, different lines we can have. We can have the different lines also here. The total amount is purchase order 300 here. Let's save this invoice document. 
So we can have multiple invoices for the same purchase order, but lines will be different. Shipment for every shipment also we can. For example, we ordered hundred items, we received only twenty. For that twenty items only, we'll go for raised uh, invoice here. Okay. So like that, for a single purchase order, we can have multiple invoices also. Now there is a option here at line level purchase order. Click on this. We can see the PO number, line number, shipment number. If this invoice is based on the asset, we can find asset here, asset information here. And we can find the tax information here. Tax calculation based on this present taxes module, it will be retrieved. If this invoice is allocated with the project account, so we can find here projects tab here and actual distribution details we can find. Now the invoice is created successfully. Let's go for validate the invoice. Click on this validate. Our system is showing that your invoice needs a revalidation. So invoice is not validated successfully. It, it needs again revalidation. Click on this status. We'll come to know why invoice is not validated. Are there any system holds or manual holds? So your invoice, maybe they, we can keep it up on hold manually. Our system might have kept it on hold, system holds. Right now, we don't have any manual holds. System holds only there. Click on this number. Now what system is showing there is line variance line level total invoice uh, line amount does not equal to the invoice amount here we can find that that difference we have to verify so line level what system has done taxes has been calculated here and i'm going to remove this taxes information here i'm going to make it as zero let me make this tax as zero so that invoice header amount will be tallied with the line amount. Then we can go ahead. So headers, lines, taxes we will find here. Let's go for save and close here. I'll save this invoice document here. After we save this invoice document, we'll go for again, uh, validate this. Now the invoice has been validated successfully. We can verify, do we need approvals here? Not required, accounting is required. After validation, we'll go for accounting and then we'll go for make the payment. Go to invoices and uh, create accounts, post to ledger. A post to ledger option will create an invoice accounting entries as well as it will transfer to GL module also. You can find uh, both debit and credit accounting entries to GL module. Now we would like to go for make this uh, payment, full payment we want to do that. Go to manage installment. We will come to know what is the payment method. When we go for installments, we can find payment method is Electronic, if at all we want to change to check payment method, we can change here. We wanted to go ahead with the check payment methods. Okay. Let's go for save. There are two options while making the payment. If you are going to make full payment, what you can do is go to invoice actions here and go to post to ledger. Sorry, pay in full. When we are going to make full payment, for example, we would like to go with the installments. I would like to go for make the 50% now and 50% later. Then what we can do manually also, we can go for make the payment. So what is the invoice number? Here is invoice number Q2. Save and close. If we are going ahead with manual process, go to the payments work environment. 
this is payments uh, functional area. Go to task list and create a payment. And choose this uh, business unit for which business unit supplier site you are going to make the payment. And uh, who is the supplier? Supplier site. Any discount? You got discount options. We can choose if there are any discount options are there for this supplier. We have some of the discounts, but we are not interested to go ahead with the discounts. And I'm selecting directly from which bank we are going to disburse, Bank of America, disbursement document. What is the payment method you are going to apply? Let's say check payment method. What is payment process profile, PPP? So that we will be defining in account payables model setups. We are going ahead with standard check format and uh, payment document is this check. This is our check number 4023 for which invoice we are going to make this payment. This is the invoice total $300. This is how we are going to make the payment to the supplier. This is how we are going to make the payment to the supplier. So create payment option we have. This is payment number 4023 is the payment number $300 we have paid. Let's search for the payment, whatever we have created, manage payments, and we have to generate. We have to generate this payment and payment accounting entries and transfer this accounts to GL. So search for the payment document here, what we have done payment here. And go to actions here. We'll go for create account again. It's post in Jepchat. Now we can find accounting entries for the payment here. Liability and cash clearing. Then we are going to find these accounting entries in the GL part. So this is how we can go for raise an invoice for a particular purchase order. After we raise the invoice and create accounting transactions, then how to make the payments and create accounting entries for this particular payment document. Okay. This is how we will be performed. Thank you.